Assalamu alaikum, my dear students of class two. How are you? I hope you all are well. Alhamdulillah, I am also fine with the grace of Almighty Allah and your prayers. The students, your, your, your second semester exam is very near at hand, you know. Your exam will be started from 5th September 2021. And I hope you all are reading very carefully, attentively, and I also expect that you all have already finished the, all the syllabus of your reading. So today, uh, welcome to my today's online class. Today I will take an English second paper class. You know, the second paper, that means the grammar two books has, has already been finished. Uh, so now your uh, revision is going on. So today I would like to discuss about the correction. So let's start the students. So our today's topic is correction. Uh, you will write here correction. Our today's topic is correction. So you know that in the correction uh, is very simple. M is R and was R is used after the subject. So before going to write some sentences, uh, just I am telling you something about the correction. The students, for your exam, only for your syllabus, uh, the second, first semester, uh, maybe uh, M is R, M is R uh, was used for correction. But in the second semester, was were also important for your correction. So when you will use was and when you will use were, this is the important. Dear students, was is used, dear student, please uh, listen to me, was and were, was and were, this is, these are the auxiliary verb, these are the auxiliary verb, was is used, was is used with the subject, that means uh, if the subject is the singular form, what? If the subject is singular form, for example, if I, that is, uh, if the singular form means uh, I, or you can write or uh, he, or after she, or after the sing name, any types of name, that means it can be singular, okay? Uh, singular, that means after, after I, normally we, we can use was, that means I was a student, or we can use uh, was after he, for example, if I say he was going to the market here, after he, you have to use was, or you can use after she, that means after she, you can use uh, yeah, she was, if, we, if you say she were, she were a uh, uh, she was a driver or she was a brilliant student, this is the wrong answer. Because after she, this is the singular form, she indicates the singular form, so we have to use was after she. So for example, so we can use she was, she was a brilliant uh, student or you can say she was a bread maker or the name singular. That means if any types of names indicate the one person or one thing, so you can use was. For example, if I say our school, our school was uh, was a very famous school, famous school here. After school, this is only one school indicates, so we have to use a uh, was. Okay. If you use after a singular name. Uh, our school was, this is the wrong answer, because, because was is used after the singular name, clear? So for, if I, if I uh, write the answer, if I uh, say, if I give some examples, I, I, if I write I were a student, here I were a student, this is the wrong answer, this is the wrong answer because because what, what is used here, because I is the singular form, so after the singular form, that means uh, indicates the, if the subject indicates the one person, one thing, uh, in that case you have to use was. So this is the wrong answer, you have to write, the answer is I was 
this is the incorrect this is the incorrect so correct answer we have to write she was she uh, i was a student i was a student clear students i hope you have understood this the similarly if you say he if i if i write the answer incorrect he were he were a day laborer he were a day laborer here were is not used here because he indicates the one person one thing okay so after he we have to use was so the correct answer is so so the correct answer is he was a day laborer he was a day laborer similarly if i now similarly if i say the answer students okay so dear students if i write here the weeks uh, was main singular that means in the subject singular for example by the idea the place was or were a famous place here the place yeah the place means the place is get the one thing one place so here is the other word you must use was because because the place is get the singular okay when the subject is singular the place is get the one person one thing one place one manner one in that of one Indicate the one that you have to use once. So the place was the last place. Clear? Yeah. Okay. Now, now uh, let's move on the word how and what we can use word. Word it is used opposite to was. That means was is used after the singular subject. That means one person, one thing, one place. What is used after the plural? After that. Fishes, fish indicate the singular one feet, but when we use fishes, 
So here we can have two or both in one case. Clear? So we have to choose one or one. This string will say, you were, this is was, were, in, in the form. Here, one or one string has to try to uh, say the answer. Stress. Here, of course, if it was, no. What is not used here because place is fishing, those is the name. But since the fish is at least more than one fish, it's a lot of fish, or it can be three fish, or it can be four fish, or it can be many fish. So we have to use here one. The fish is word in the form. I hope you have understood this. And in this sense, now we will uh, go to the place of uh, page 48 uh, from your grammatical book. In the 48, page 48 in the grammatical book, it's your, your, your syllabus. So, in the number one, number one, they, uh, uh, 48 syllabus, I am writing on the board. They, if I write, they was, uh, was, they was eager. To go home. Eager. Eager. To go home. Then, students, that's at first you will write in your copy. Then I will uh, say the answer and you get to my answer. Okay? And they want to go home. That's to write in your copy. Is it is it correct answer? Is it correct answer? So you have to write this uh, the correct answer is. You know that they were dancing the word eager, eager to go home. Yes, sir, do you know why you can use your uh, word? Because they, they indicate the more than one. So they indicate the plural form. When the subject is plural or indicate the one, more than one person, preferably, then you have to use two words. So that means they were eager to go home. The next one is if I say they was were at home last night. In my sentence, I am writing here. They are uh, not they because uh, uh, we, we, we was. If I write we was at home last night. At home. Uh, last night. Here you know what is the third answer? Here of course you must write the answer is we were we were at home last night. Last night. Dear students, do you know what the English word? Because we indicate the Plural uh, form that means we can the more than one person. We can I, he, she, he, or any types of name, more than one person you can use. We. So we were at home last night. Okay, then read two. The next one is I am writing here. The next one is read two. Ritu were, uh, Ritu were very unhappy. Were very unhappy. Here, yeah, Ritu were very unhappy. This is correct and correct, you know. Must be the incorrect answer. Why? Because you know that Ritu is equal to one person. So, you know that when the subject indicates the one person. In that case, we have to use was. So the correct answer is Ritu was very unhappy. So that's clear? Okay, the next one is I. If I like I were very sad, I was. I was very sad because our school remained closed for a long time. That's why I was very sad. If I write, I was very sad, this is the third answer? No, this is not the third answer because I am 
after I before I indicate the singular form. You know that after uh, indicate the singular subject, after the singular subject was must used. Uh, if you write the word, this is not the correct answer because word is used after that, after the plural form or plural subject. So you have to use I was very sad. I was very sad. Students clear? And the next one is you. The next one you can write the next sentence here. I uh, you. You. Uh, was wrong. He was wrong in that answer. If I write, he was wrong in that answer. This is the correct or incorrect, do you know? Students, that's the first one. Uh, to give the answer, then I will uh, say the correct answer. You will match with my answer. I'm trying to was wrong in that answer. Is it correct? Uh, no, it's not the correct answer. So what's the correct answer? Do you know? You? Thank you very much. You were wrong. We are wrong in that. So why do you use word? Because you have to you, if you, after you, you know that, after you, why do we use, after they, why do we use, after we, why do we use, after you, why do we use, after the plural names, plural person, plural thing, things, why do we use, so you, word, okay? So, so just you have to memorize, you have to keep in mind that, yeah? I was, he was, she was, and the name singular. That means one is the name of one person, the name of one thing, the name of uh, one place. We have to use was. And why is used after you? After you, you were, after he, after they, they were, or, or we were, or the names, there is indicated the plural names. After that, we have to use word. So you were wrong in that answer. So now I am giving the, another example here. If I say, if I say word, you, if I say, uh, if I say the next she, if I say she, she were, she were a singer. She was singer, is correct or incorrect? Just you will uh, practice, just you will say that I will give the answer. Just you will say. Uh, she or a singer is correct or incorrect? Of course, this is the incorrect. Why is it incorrect? You say. Because after she, she needs a singular one person. After one person, you must use was. So the answer is he was a singer. Then uh, uh, can you do you have any problem for understanding? I hope you have understood very clearly and I hope you will get the full marks in the second semester exam. Because you, uh, you have, some days ago we have finished our syllabus and I hope you also uh, you also have finished your syllabus and I hope you have practiced and you are practicing a lot for your exam. So, friends, if you have any problem, just you will talk to me uh, for any topics of English grammar, uh, especially in grammar teams. And so, that's for today. Thank you very much. Till then, uh, you have a great day. Assalamu alaikum.